Got y'all in a raincoat. Oh man, Richie, probably the last time we'll get a chance to, to chat with you after um, your rookie year. So Dang, don't make me sad. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but just kind of big picture, kind of what has this rookie year been for you and how do you kind of evaluate where you are? Man, it's been, I don't think I ever had this much knowledge thrown at me. I'm talking about from all angles, like, we got so many good vets in our room, and I'm talking about everybody. Every single day, just throwing in knowledge. I'm just trying to soak it up. So really, it's just been, it's been a learning year. Like I'm still having fun out there, but for the most part, like we're going behind the scenes. I've been learning so much, man. Just how to be a pro, how to play this game, and be in it for a long time. I'm glad that you brought that up because that was something that we were talking to Dean Pease about a, a little bit a couple of weeks ago. He was kind of talking about how he'll sometimes come up to you and be like, "Have you ran something like this before?" And it's uh, always like. Like, this is I, I know Dean's scheme is difficult for people who have been in the league for years uh -huh. so somebody just coming into it I mean how do you kind of feel like you talk about learning how do you feel like you it grown in Dean's scheme specifically oh yeah I feel like man anybody anybody in that building can vouch man like I really been doing this all year you know like uh, beginning of the year man <laughs> I've been learning a lot let's just say that <laughs> so like now man just looking back um, where I came from, I mean, it's, like I said, I just learned so much, man. I'm a completely different ball player than I was when I first got here. Like, I mean, you can put it like it was just raw talent, you know, and now I'm finally putting the pieces together with, you know, these guys, just the staff and, and, and my vets in the room, so. Is there anything specifically that you're proud of when you look back at this year and kind of is there a specific step that you feel like you've taken, whether it be physically, mentally, anything that you're specifically proud of? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Pretty much my role, you know, when I'm out there on the field, it's, it's, it's almost like quarterback, you know? So like special teams, defense, no matter what position it is, it's, it's, it's a lot of communication. You gotta know where you are. Um, you gotta know your job as well as where your help is. And the same thing with special teams. And you know, I, you know I, I thank my coach for that, put me in that position, cause it just helped me grow. You know, as a leader, being able to be under control, you said, what's one thing I, you know, I take the note? This year, it's just about, I'm real proud of how I'm under control now. Like my mind is is slowed down. You know, I'm able to to uh, see it through. Um, yeah, that's 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 probably the biggest win for me this year. Yeah. When did that moment, no go ahead. When did that moment kind of happen for you, Richie? Because I know when you're kind of coming in and you're going through OTA mm -hmm. training camp and everything, you're still kind of feeling like like the college player. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird transition. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when did that kind of moment happen for you? Whether that was a, a particular week, a game, a play. Uh, to be honest. I don't know if I realized it right away. I think it was just like one of those weeks, like at the end of the week, I'm like, damn, I ain't get yelled at that much this week. You know what I'm saying? So like, I must be, on my, I must be doing my job. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was pretty much like that. Like, I don't even think I realized to like, I can't even, I'm not even gonna make up what week it was. It was just, at the end of the week, I was like, wow, like, you know, okay, let's keep it going. Yeah. Kind of, I, I wanna go back to what you're talking about with communication and kind of finding mm -hmm. your voice in this defense. I know. In Dean's defense, the nickel position and, and where that alignment is kind mm -hmm. of dict dictates a lot for the defense overall. Right. Um, and he, I know he commended you a couple of weeks ago about how you've been willing to step up and vocalize things a lot more mm -hmm. um, recently because he's like, that's really important. Here. It is, uh, very. Yeah, yeah, so can you kind of speak to that process and kind of feeling like you've grown in, in being able to find your voice out on the field with some pretty good veterans? Right. It, it's, 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 it's about relieving that pressure. Like, I always say, like, pressure not a bad thing. You know, it, it help you grow. And it's about, because just, I'm just so hard on myself, you know, and sometimes it can be it can be a downfall. So you just want to, you know, just get off yourself a little bit and just, just play. Like, I've been playing this game my whole life, so it ain't nothing new. It's just a new defense, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much just getting comfortable with, with making the call. Like, oh, I'm not wrong with this call. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, he trusts me to be in the spot I say I'm gonna be in even though I'm showing something else. So it's just just comfortability, really. You know, it's rare that you come into the league and you have a, a, a legend like Dean Pease to be yeah. team, right? But you do. And so sometimes I'll tweet things out and I'll hashtag it Dean -isms. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what Dean ism can you tell us about where literally, and maybe good or bad, uh -huh. I'll set up I ain't telling you nothing bad, nah. You, come on, I ain't that crazy. Get you all the way together, or a Dean where it was telling you like, oh wow, I, I got this now. 
I don't know, man. This dude been coaching, I think, more than half his life, man. Like, literally, anytime his mouth open, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, what you saying, coach? Because I just, I know he just got so much wisdom, so much knowledge. Like, a, a rookie like me, like, I can take my game so much further being behind the staff that we got. So, anytime they talk, really, I'm just ears, really. It's probably one of the last times that we'll get a chance to, to talk to you before the end of the season. I mean, kind of looking ahead to your first offseason in the league, what, mm -hmm. what are kind of some things that you're – either one looking to improve on, looking to focus on as you kind of head into this offseason? Um, you know, just uh, going back and reevaluating every game and uh, even practice, man. I, that's where you make the most mistakes that we can grow the most from. And just reevaluating where, where I'm at and, you know, fits and second year in the defense, you should be more comfortable. That's just natural. So just uh, trying to mitigate mistakes, really, like mentally. That's, that's what it's all about, being a safety anyways, going out there and not making the same, same mistake twice. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Thank you.